You know, St. Pete has a rich history, but our aviation history to me has long been undertold and underappreciated. Even today, as we plan to have this beautiful sculpture in our new Pier District, news of it is overshadowed by so much else happening at the pier. But this here is going to happen, and it is going to be one of the highlights of this Pier District. Many people that live here do not even realize that the industry started here in St. Petersburg. In my industry, I fly, I've been flying with American Airlines for 28 years. I fly with a lot of pilots that don't know where the airline industry started. There was one person in our city that thought we could do better, and that was Ron Whitney. He works for our marketing department, and he thought we could do a better way of marking and celebrating the history that started here in St. Petersburg. We are uh, most excited that Will Michaels and Chris Davis approached us in 2014 about the idea of contributing and participating in how this could be realized with ideas that they had put together about really creating a historically significant place in our city's parks for this monument. We anticipate that the monument will be a well-visited destination by residents, including school children, uh, tourists and those associated uh, with the now uh, $900 billion airline industry uh, worldwide. This is a celebration of the arts. We have become known as the city of the arts. This is a piece of art. This is a beautiful piece that will be uh, the Kodak moment for folks who want to come down to our Pier District and want to celebrate with a, a photo memory. Today, I also have this honor that Will has bestowed upon me uh, to help celebrate the legacy of Mayor Abe File by presenting on behalf of Flight 2014 a handmade model of the first airliner to Tommy File Jr.